Hello you guys, so welcome to the vlog. Welcome back to another weekend in my life in New York. This is gonna be the perfect New York weekend. Tonight I'm headed out on the town and then tomorrow we're taking a day trip with some friends to see some fall foliage. I'm so excited. I've always wanted to do this every fall, I regret it. And then I miss peak foliage in like upstate New York. So we're doing that tomorrow. But tonight I've just had a lovely Friday night listening to Drake, doing my makeup, my hair, all the things. I'm going to dinner with my friends Cass, Kelly, and Seb. We're going to Casa Cipriani, which is a members only club that some of them are a member of. So of course I won't be able to vlog in there, but hopefully the night will take me elsewhere after. So I'm wearing this tank from Kurgs, I think it's called, because the true star of the show is this jacket. I knew I wanted to wear this jacket. It's from Shop We Were What. I love the color so much. I tried to wear it where you like bunch it, but the belt was just getting lost in the sauce. It just wasn't working. And then I have these black Abercrombie leather pants on, tied it in with these silver slingback heels. And then this black bag in case I go somewhere and go dancing after I need to be able to have a shoulder bag situation. Um, but I am really excited for a proper girls night in New York. I have these earrings on too. Welcome back to another weekend of my life. I'm gonna have like the tiniest glass of kombucha before I head out. Cause why not? Cheers. I would have a mom water right now, but I do not have. Oh my God, that literally looks like a martini. We have dinner at seven, but I know my sweet friends. And Seb is always on time, Cass is always on time, but Cass and Kelly are together. Kelly's doing Cass's makeup right now. And I just know since they haven't chatted in the chat, I'm like, you girls are not gonna be on time. And normally it's like, okay, I'll still go, but I'm not a member of this club, so I cannot even like just sit at the table. Okay, let's pack the bag. My little wallet here, OctoBuddy on this. This is from Amazon, I love it because it's magnetic. AirPods, it's been my new thing, so I can hype myself up in the car. Breath spray, I'm like obsessed. Always have my essential oils or my like sniffing stick. Just calms me down. Lip balm. And then I also have my lip products in here. I'm obsessed with this lip combo. Say lip liner tease and then say lip gloss and push. Yeah, I was gonna say is it pull, but I'm not gonna touch it up just yet because I'm drinking this kombucha. I could bring my camera, but we can't even take photos in there, so. That's what's in my bag. Let's, go. well, next clip is me going, but I'm gonna sit here for a second. Thank you so much Element for sponsoring this video. You guys know how much I love Element and how important it is in my Friday night routine a lot of the times um, because I wanna make sure I am hydrated or maybe the next morning when I wanna make sure that I'm replenishing those electrolytes. Element is a tasty electrolyte drink mix with everything you need and nothing you don't. That means lots of salt with no sugar. It contains a science-backed electrolyte ratio, 1,000 milligrams sodium, 200 milligrams of potassium, and 60 milligrams of magnesium. With none of the junk, no sugar, no coloring, no artificial ingredients, no gluten, no fillers, no BS. I love this chocolate medley box from Element. You actually can enjoy it hot, which is really nice. I usually bring this out during the colder months. It's so cozy. It's another way to get in those electrolytes. My personal favorite flavor is chocolate mint, but there's also two other really delicious ones. It's just so cozy and a great way to kind of wind down or, you know, in the morning, whatever feels right for you. Right now, Element is offering my subscribers a free sample pack with any order. So that's eight single serving packets free with any Element order. This is a great way to try all eight flavors or share Element with a salty friend. Get yours at drinkelement.com slash Danielle Carolyn. This deal is only available through my link. You must go to D-R-I-N-K-L-M-N-T dot com slash Danielle Carolyn. I will also have the link down below. You can try the sparkling electrolytes that I absolutely love or the powders. My personal favorite flavor is citrus salt. And then you can also try the chocolate medley if that feels good. Good morning, 
guys. So we ended up staying at Casa Cipriani the whole night, aka literally no vlog footage. They then came back here, met up with Ryan. We're going to see foliage. I really like didn't know what to wear. And I actually, I used to do this up to a lot. My hair is definitely a little heavier, so it's harder to do. I think it still looks okay, hopefully. Might have to fix it in the car ride. But I did a little messy bun updo. And then I'm wearing just a white tee. We're going to Beacon, New York, and Caitlin has her car here. Me, Caitlin Delaney, and our friend Mason are going. Earrings, I stacked it up. Jeans are edited by Remy. Belt is Orium. This is my new suede brown trench that I have been dying to wear. And I'm wearing some sneakers for comfort, but I'm so excited to drive around and listen to Taylor Swift and romanticize life and walk around the town and everything. So let's go. Delaney's vibing so hard right now. Yeah. Caitlin's like, let me try. <laughs> Here we are again. Oh. <laughs> she loves it. Caitlin is having. You can wear. Caitlin's having an out of body swing. Sepia glasses. Oh my god. Also, not the baby mirror. I just like woke up. Caitlin is up, you guys. Finally play on your phone, Caitlin, because you're driving. It's the cutest little town, definitely giving Gilmore girls. The wind is not helping the updo, I feel like. Two random strands in the front flying in the wind. We're gonna get some lunch at Beacon Bread Company, hopefully, or whatever it's called. We're like here having a cute fall day and I guess they just had the Halloween parade. So it's like cozy vibes and you see like Dracula in the corner. <laughs> so if you see in our Instagram photos like Darth Vader in the back, like that's why. <laughs> Everyone's gonna be like, what are these girls doing? Why aren't they dressed up? I got an iced maple cinnamon latte. I don't usually get flavors, but this is hitting right now. We've spotted a very pretty red tree. Very excited about it. Following us, the next town rat is also doing a Halloween parade. We just found this gazebo, it's giving Gilmore girls. Here's a wrap on our fall foliage wholesome day. So amazing. Guys, we just came to get gas. Pop, it, I think. pop the jar. Oh, wait, no, maybe he's, he's doing our gas for wait, us. Roll I, the window down. We're four girls who have never done this before. Um, they don't do this in Florida. Roll, the window down. Can you lower, roll your down. It's not look at me. Sorry. Sorry. Oh. Do what you're doing again. Hi. Hi. Good, how are you? Do you need um, a card? 
Wait, now he's washing the car. I don't know. I've been to the one in Connecticut. We don't tip them. Today was absolutely so lovely, and I'm so happy we did it. Like the trip that made it out of the group chat. And now we're back. It's 10:02. I'm about to head back out the door. So basically for today, I'm gonna make like a TikTok about it too. We drove to Beacon, New York, spent some time there, had lunch there, and then we drove like 20 minutes to Cold Spring and we kind of wish we did the opposite, like started in Cold Spring. Like we thought we were gonna like Beacon better, but no, Cold Spring was definitely like so cute. And so was Beacon, but I don't know, Cold Spring was hitting more and it was just the most lovely day. And part of the whole trip was just like driving around, listening to good music lots of good giggles and then we rushed back and with some of the same crew plus some boys we're going back to brooklyn because that's where we went to literally drop off the car lol and there's this new country bar in brooklyn that i've been dying to go to and so we're gonna go tonight um it's called desert five and it's kind of perfect because on the train back here, like from Brooklyn, I was like, oh my God, everyone's in Halloween costumes. And like, I was already planning on wearing cowboy boots tonight, but now I feel like extra seen, but I'm also like, what are people gonna be wearing at the country bar? Are they gonna be wearing their cowboy boots? Cause apparently people do, but also will they be in their costumes from other parties? I have no idea what the vibes are gonna be tonight, but I am personally choosing to believe that I'm in Nashville right now. Like that's how I'm dressing. And I'm really proud of this outfit. Same white tee from earlier. Threw on this crop black jacket from Lamarck. Belt. I actually bought this one time when I was going to Nashville. It's from Revolve. And skinny jeans. Yep. You heard it here first. Or you heard it here. I talked about skinny jeans like literally last year. Now everyone's like, oh, maybe. I'm like, yeah. Because they're flattering. And then my cowboy boots. Because then I can tuck them in. No problem. I just kept on the same jewelry from earlier. Uh, I have to do like my bag too because it definitely like works. I'm also drinking. I need to take a shot. I'm so sober, which is fine, but like I'd like to be a little tipsy. Except I am taking the train there alone. And I'm only doing that because it's like in Brooklyn. Is this a bad idea? I've never really done this, but I would. it's going to get me there so much faster. Now I'm going to do it because I was just out there and like everyone's out right now. Like, oh, is this silly? No, I'm going to be safe. I'm going to be safe. Kabucha. I just brushed my teeth, so that tastes a little weird. Ooh, but wait, before we go into the other room, I need to put on my perfume. We'll go Velvet Rose and Oud again from Joe Milani. Part of me is like, I totally could have a cowboy hat tonight. I'm like, it would be fine because people would be like, oh my God, she's a cowboy for Halloween. Should I? This one's from my first year living in New York birthday party when I was Kendall Jenner space cowgirl. Like, no, this is giving costume. I actually don't, no, no. Next week is Halloween for me. So funny, like half of New York is celebrating Halloween this weekend and then the other half is celebrating next weekend. Okay, I'm plugging from the charger, grabbing the lip products. Let's turn off some lights here. I'll show you guys the bag I'm using that I think really pulls the look together. Ah, my saddlebag, it's so cute. Like it's very equestrian. You know the vibes. Let's go. <laughs> I'm still here actually. I like to take shots on my vlog because I feel like it's kind of fun. It's like Saturday night. But also, I feel like I'm not alone when I'm taking the shot. I'm like, you know what? This is great. Ah! So that's definitely a part of it. So I hope you guys don't mind coming along with me. Oh good, last time I tried to take a shot, remember in my last vlog? It was frozen and I couldn't open it. Not today. This is Katie Bilotti's merch, bottoms up. It's not even merch, like it's literally beautifulness. Her design, should I say. Grey Goose. Only I would like, I haven't had a drink today and I start with a shot. Okay, now that I'm thinking about it, this is kind of crazy. Anyways, <laughs> cheers! <laughs> Never gets old. Okay, let's go now. <laughs> We 
we've arrived at a diner and I'm very excited. Came out this way, I had to explain. Direct from Domingo. That song is stuck in my head. Happy Sunday, you guys. Last night was so fun. Highly recommend going to Desert Five Spot if you love country music. And honestly, towards the end when the band left, the band left around 11.30. Oh my god, they're at 11, so definitely wish we saw more of the band. Didn't know that they weren't on. I mean, I should have figured they're not all night, but they were fabulous. And then they play like country music on the speakers, but also kind of infuse like some Chapel Roan, some like a G6, like kind of everything. And it was so fun. Like seriously, I felt like I was in Nashville. It was the best. But we're gonna go get some breakfast. Honestly, no, it's brunch. It's lunch. It's one o'clock. So really wanted to make it up to Central Park. I don't know if it's gonna happen or not because I have a flu shot at 4 p.m. But anyways, thought I'd show you guys my outfit. It's kind of my new go-to for fall is I just wear a white tee and jeans and then throw a coat over top. This is from my edit with Aster the Label. If you guys didn't know about it, now you know. This jacket and there's a pair of matching shorts, it's so cute. If you go on AsterTheLabel.com and click on edits and click on Danielle Carolyn, you could see all the clothing items in my edit, like so cool. Just got these sunglasses from Key. Actually not just like a month ago, but I'm just now wearing them. Same earrings as last night. I threw my hair in like a ponytail. Sneakers, and I'm gonna use this bag, and that's the look. I, I've been seeing people talk about like spending that extra 10 minutes to have a better day, and I love it. Like, I actually put on makeup, like, normally I would just not wear makeup today, but <sighs> we're doing it. Ryan, are you ready to go? Yeah, I'm ready. Let's go. <laughs> My mom just called Ryan. I will, I will, I will. Um... What are they sure. talking about? No, no, absolutely. Wow. Looking very good. Okay, we're back now. We stopped by a sports bar that our friends were at, watched some football with them, and walked around, and Ryan's gonna come support me while I get my flu shot because I'm a baby. But we're gonna do a quick pumpkin carving before you leave. Okay, so we need, what kind of knife sound? Like this, maybe? Like this. And then a scooper. Good work. Oh, I'd get some harder than that, this is. Cause I just want the seeds. Cause I, basically guys, I want to cook pumpkin seeds tonight. <laughs> like roast them in the oven. Wait, but Ryan, you can't just like do that. Like I, I don't have newspaper. I need- You have paper towels. I have lots of paper towels. Yeah, I can Oh, I guess it's not as messy cause- It's right. Cause Making yeah. Should I get a bowl then? Yeah, I'll get a big bowl. I'll like get all the pulp out of the seeds later. Be careful. Yeah, I'm not gonna make a pretty design guys. But I've enjoyed looking at it. Ryan also got me this pumpkin, so it's a full service gift. <laughs> the other side of the pumpkin's ugly, but it's okay. It's what's on the inside that counts. <laughs> I told Alexa to play a Halloween song, so she's playing a playlist called Halloween Party. And the first song is Ghostbusters. Do you think it's good enough? Uh, I think we're close. Ooh, just don't break the... Oh, the stem. Yeah! Here we go. <gasps> oh, thank you. Just to take off the top. Ah. This is a very messy operation. Free flu shot, quick pumpkin carving. Quick <laughs> pumpkin carving. Squeeze it in. Well, cause yeah, cause Ryan's gonna go home after this to like work and do his life. And I was like, okay, I'll just do this tonight alone. Like it's really fun. I just like really want these seats. And he was like, all right, I'll just carve it right now for you. Happy fall, y'all. Getting a good collection here, then I'll, I'll rinse them after my flu shot. And then bake them in the oven or roast them, I guess is the right word. Mm -hmm. We've got seeds. Awesome. All right, here we go. That was so easy, I'm so dramatic every single time. Ryan literally got it while, with a cowboy hat on. <laughs> Rewarded myself with a little coffee as a treat after my vaccine <laughs> okay i finally sorted through all of the pumpkin pulp i think that's what it's called the pulp if you will and rinsed it all and now i have them i'm gonna put another paper towel over and just like try and dry these seeds as much as i can and then we're gonna roast them in the oven pumpkin seeds are loading i'm so excited I've been just doing Sunday reset things. I've got laundry going. I had all of my outfits from this past weekend just like all over my floor. I'd go to bed every night and just like, my new thing is I am like too lazy to wash my face after a night out. So I get in the shower 
I don't know if anyone else feels this way. It's just like easier and you can be as messy as you want. And it's really satisfying. And guys, these pumpkin seeds are so good. I'm really tired because I did go to bed at 3 a.m. last night. I'm crazy. It's whatever. Wow, these are so good. But now I need to sit down at my computer. Brooke and I are finalizing things for our live shows. If you didn't know, we're going on tour, literally going all over the country. We're going out to the West Coast. We're going to the Midwest. We're going back to Florida, Atlanta. That's gonna be so much fun. All starting November 7th, Philly. So as you guys are watching this, we're literally about to be in Philly. Please come, it's gonna be so fun. It's gonna be our first show of this new tour. I meet people all, all the time that are like, oh my God, I came to your show. This is gonna be a brand new show. So you should come. It's really, really fun. I'm really, really excited. So I'm gonna work on that. I'm more of a night worker. Like I need my apartment to be clean and then I can sit on my computer and do everything. I don't know why, but like I can't sit in chaos and my apartment was chaos, like truly. The weekends happen and it all goes away. So yeah, I'm gonna do that. The work vibes are lovely. Today's YouTube video. This one is called like nighttime ambiance jazz work something. Got my setup over here. One thing about me, as soon as I get home, I either throw my hair in a bun or the headband's going on. This is like a newer thing for me. Actually, not really. Honestly, no. I'm so overstimulated, so I need it. But just made my list of things I need to get. To. I know also, by the way, I can take this off, but I like to remember that I did it today, so I'm a little more gentle with this arm. So that's why I still have it on. I just made a priorities list of what I need to do in what order. That really helps me if I'm like overwhelmed or don't know where to start. I start with making a priorities list and it really, really, really helps. And like I literally put one, two. So it's like, you can't have too many tabs open. I know I need to do this one first. So that's exactly what I just said. And I'll continue to do that. All right, work is done. Feeling productive. Also got a call in with my mom. So it was extra productive and extra fun, but I'm gonna go wind down now, get in bed, watch something. Now that I finished Tell Me Lies, I don't have this show that I'm like jumping to watch and I really miss it. So comment down below any shows that are similar to Tell Me Lies because I will watch, but I love you guys so much. This was such a lovely weekend and I'm so happy that I got to share it with you guys. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.